Curly Leaf Pondweed is an aquatic weed that is native to Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. It was introduced into North America by 1840, possibly both accidentally with fish hatchery stock and intentionally via the aquarium trade. It is now widely established throughout most of North America. Curly Leaf Pondweed can tolerate a wide range of temperatures and is found in rivers, marshes, and freshwater and brackish lakes. It is problematic in that it displaces native plant species, impedes water flow, and damages fishing, hunting, boating, and other recreational sectors. Decaying plant material can decrease oxygen levels, which is detrimental to fish and other organisms, and can lead to algal blooms. Curly leaf pondweed grows completely submersed. It has a unique life cycle, typically behaving as a winter annual in cold climates. New plants sprout in autumn when water temperatures drop and they grow actively all winter, even under thick ice. Plants have rhizomes anchoring them to the hydrosoil. Stems are somewhat flattened and can grow up to three and a half feet long. Leaves are arranged alternately along the stem. They are up to three inches long and a half inch wide, light to dark green and often translucent. They have wavy edges similar to lasagna noodles and have tiny teeth along their margins. Plants grow most rapidly in spring when temperatures are still cool. They flower and fruit in late spring. Flowers are tiny with four petal-like lobes and they occur on stalks that may extend a few inches above the water surface. Though curly leaf pondweed does produce seeds, sometimes at very high densities, field germination rates are extremely low and most spread is vegetative via rhizomes and dormant buds at tips of stems. These specialized buds give rise to new plants after they break free from the parent plant and sprout. Curly leaf pondweed buds are burr-like, up to one inch long, and are produced either in leaf axles or at stem tips. They're produced in late spring and can remain viable for at least two years. After flowering and producing the dormant buds, the plant dies back completely. Buds remain dormant throughout summer and germinate in autumn with decreasing temperatures. Curly leaf pondweed most closely resembles other pondweeds, of which there are many native and introduced species in North America. Other pondweeds differ in that they don't have tiny teeth all along their leaf margins, and they don't produce buds at leaf tips.